All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking football, doing another draft breakdown. And we're talking about Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M presented by SeatGeek. This guy is, a, this is one I'm really excited about because I feel like this guy's not getting the love that he deserves. And I know it's early in the process, but I'm telling you, Kenyon Green, this guy's a real deal out of Texas A&M. Um, you know, Tyler Linderbaum's getting a lot of love and, and rightfully so, but I see Ken Green being better than him on the interior. I think he's better than Zion Johnson on the interior. I think he's interior offensive line number one. And I think he's just like a really good prospect who I think is one of those interior guys that can go in the top 10. Now, at Texas a this past year, they played him at tackle. And they, he played all four positions. You know, they moved him around, which is a little frustrating. So I'm actually using his left guard film from 2020 versus Alabama. So it's not the most recent, but I wanted to get this one out. It's the only guard film I had all 22 was. You know, obviously you watch the broadcast stuff. Again, he started everything but center. We're going to go through the pass and the run. But he's, you see already from the stance, he's got this wide base. He's just super strong. He's able to stay low. He's got good hand fight. He's able to mirror guys in the pass pro. I mean, his pass pro is just beautiful. He stonewalls guys, and he's able to move with them. In the run game, he's able to move guys. He's able to pull. He's able to get to the second level really patient. So we're going to go through the pass and the run. But this is a guy that if your team drafts him, you should be excited about. This guy's going to start on your offensive line for a long time on the inside, on the inside. All right, but let's get into it. We're going to go through the pass game first. So we're going to go uh, nine pass reps and then nine run reps. Again, every rep is good. Every pass rep is good. So first rep. They're stunting. You got this player coming from backside. Immediately recognizes it. Turns the head. Hands are inside and low. See this left hand? Come back underneath. Replace. Get it underneath him. All the while, watch the feet. Staying wide. Moving. Not overcorrecting. Again, you got all this mess right here. Kenyon Green's holding steady. Next rep. Again, Kenyon Green just winning. Winning consistently and winning dominantly. See the wide base. Hands inside. Shoots the hands. He's got the full extension. Not leaning. Got his head back. Feet consistently moving while not coming too close together, not overextending. I mean, it's just consistent. Now, his interior offensive line stuff's not the most fun to watch, but he just does it consistently in the pass game. Gets a bull rush, hands inside, re anchor. And you see the feet. Just consistently. Again, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. This isn't a wide receiver breaking a play for 80 yards. Again, look at all this mess back here. And you got Kenyon Green. Not losing ground. Getting two yards of depth. Look at the knee bend. Or, sorry, the pad level. Got his hands inside on the breastplate. Jacking him up. So you want to get your hands up? Fine. You've given up on this rep? Fine. Keep the feet moving. Keep the base wide. Just dominant reps from the guard spot. Here against Christian Bar Bar uh, Barrymore, Barmore. Sets to him, plays the full man. Inside, okay, feet wide, watch the feet. Bam. Head up, head up. You got your hands inside, 
Now is he going to stunt back out? All right, I'll mirror you. Keep my feet moving. I'm not going to go too crazy. Hand on the small of the back like you're a tackle now. Extend. That's Christian Barber. That guy was, a, I think he was our early second round pick. Was a really good rookie for the New England Patriots. Extend. Another dominant rep. Playing the full man. Head up. Head up. Not giving up the sides. Hands a little high on this one. Replace them. Hands inside. You've won in the pad level. You got your base really wide. Again, it's consistent. So, again, where we, we're not going over these wildly different reps. It's every play consistent. That's why I didn't lose a pass rep in this entire game. Playing the national champion didn't lose a single pass rep the entire game. Set, hands ready to punch, bam, hands inside, hands inside, look at the knee bend, look at the pad level, and the feet are there. Watch the right hand of 48, goes a swipe, reload. Reload those hands, bam, right back in his chest. You didn't win, 48 thought he had him. Bam, bam. I mean, watch, watch him reload these hands. Swipe, bam, bam. Right back in your fucking chest. I try not to cuss on these, but... Right back in your chest. This isn't the most perfect rep. But it's a win. Again, look at this whole mess. And look at Kenyon Green. Head up, hands inside. Bring that right hand back. Even getting aggressive, and you see his feet get skinny. Get back wide, anchor, low, just mirror him. He's giving up now. Plays over. Giving up. Mirroring this guy everywhere he goes. Left, I'm there. You want to go back right? I'm there. Want to go back left? I'm there. Here's this last one in the pass game. Good hands. This guy wants to get this guy wants to get that work that bull rush. He wants to lean. Snatch. Bam. Dump on him. Sit on him. So again, I mean, this was all game for him. Just dominant in the pass game. You don't want your QB facing pressure up the middle. Kenyon Green's your guy. I mean, just dominant in the past game. Before we get into the run game and these nasty pulls, this is brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best app to get tickets. Obviously, you've probably heard of it by now. You can get 20% off your tickets with promo code GIANTS. That's promo code GIANTS. You get 20% uh, off off your tickets. And their app is really easy to use, whether it's football, basketball, Baseball, if that sport ever comes back. Or even concerts. It's really easy to use. And they sort it by like, hey, they have deal prices. Okay, this one's green. The good deal. So you, if you're, you know, if you're if you're balling on a budget, but you don't, you don't want to sit in all the way in the cheap seats, you can find the best deal in the lower areas of the seats. I use it all the time. I usually go to Orlando Magic Games, uh, Nets Games, whatever. Go to, you know, Tampa Bay, Devil, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning Devils. Promo code GIANTS. It's real deal. It's super easy to work. It's definitely the best one. The fees aren't a pain in the ass. SeatGeek promo code GIANTS for all your sporting goods. Or not sporting goods, sporting events. Or concerts too. Alright, let's go through the run game. We're going to go through some of his pulls. And he brings he brings the pop on these pulls. He's got the athleticism. 
This first one's a kick out block. Getting flat down the line. Head inside. And he leans with this. Now the tackle I think was supposed to pull up and lead through here. But he adjusts. But just pushing through. So, again, that play wasn't supposed to, I don't think that play was designed to go outside. I'm pretty sure it's designed for the tackle to go up in here. But bam, bring the pop. Moving him down the line. We're going from here, head inside, to here. And at this point, he realizes the ball is coming out, uh, going outside. If the tackle pulls up on this train call like he should, I mean, you've got all the types of room in the world because of Kenyon Green. Still a good run, but could have been a better run. On this next one, hey, Alabama. They teach their ends to spill, get inside on these pulls. I mean, good job by Will Anderson Jr. here on this. But you got to adjust. Don't just get stuck and then allow him to get upfield and, and break this play. If he wants to spill inside, you deliver the blow, flip the hips around. Now you're making it available for an outside run. And Spiller's able to do his thing. And that's good defense. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't account for him, you know, spilling. Like you, if you can't get inside and kick that out, well, and again, they still could have ran this ball inside. Like there's, there's a, a crease here. Be able to flip those hips around and make a good play. Same thing here. Again, Will Anderson, that guy's going to be like the number one overall pick. It seems next season. Bam! Just dominating. All right, you're going to get inside. And again, he still gets the correct hat placement. Will Anderson fights through it. All right, now I'm just going to bully you. Launches into it. Good knee bend, good pad level. Readjusts. And just bodies him. If, if you want to tackle me, that's fine. You're taking yourself out of the play. That's a win. You just pancaked yourself for me. Bam! Delivering the blow and finish. Finish him. Now here's where trying to bring all that pop can get you in trouble. And these plays matter. I know it's the only play that, you know, definitely the worst rep of the game. But you try and bring all that pop and he doesn't spill inside. Like he play this defensive end plays it the way you want. He gets up field. This should be an easy block. Bam! Lead block to running backs going in here. This could be a big play. This gets sealed off somewhat. Like this could be at least a four or five yard gain. And it gets screwed because he wants to get down. He wants to deliver that blow. He's used to these guys coming in and spilling inside. And just gets ahead of himself and whiffs. He's expecting him to be down here on this guy's hip and just whiffs on it. So you got to be in control. Which he usually is, and you will see that when you know working second level linebacker, he's very patient getting the linebackers doing his job. Just some straight up single blocks. Here's where I think he needs the biggest work is in the run game. I think he could fire off a little quicker, and his hands come outside. This isn't the worst example of that, but I feel like he could pop, he could. Bam, bam. Bring that second foot with you. Again, this isn't a bad rep. Don't get me wrong, but it's, it's nitpicking, and that's what you need to do to get better at the NFL level. You need to nitpick your game. So he gets good movement. It's an RPO, but you know, you're still blocking it like a run. But you see the wide base, good knee bend. Keep the feet moving. Gets movement, but those hands are outside. Allows the player to get into his chest. So that's where I think this is. This is the part of his game that I think needs the biggest improvement, because he's he sometimes he just doesn't always bring the pop on those single blocks, and he gets his hands outside, and he's a good job at readjusting and replacing his hands and finishing the block. But you bring you bring that from the start, and it makes it your job a lot easier.
Leaning a little bit on this. Good hands on this one. But 94 is able to readjust and get inside. You see how wide his hands are? He's able to like kind of get that jaw pushed up. Bring those hands inside. You sustain that block longer. Next rep of it. This is a good one. Play's going the other way, but. One, two. Hands. Inside. Keep the feet moving. Good knee bend. Not leaning. I mean, this is a beautiful rep. And you're moving a guy. You're moving him from here. All the way out to here. Beautiful rep. Beautiful rep. Go through a couple combo blocks. Again, could sustain this one a little longer. Good job giving a, a piece to help 77. You see just like just naturally strong. Able to move this guy to get his helmet on the opposite side. Good job. Good job getting to the linebacker. Just got to sustain that block a little better. Try and pin him out. Next combo. Bam. Beautiful. I mean, this shit's beautiful right here. This is a beautiful combo. From, from the start to finish. You got your first two steps. And again, watch just the natural strength. Look at that. That's an Alabama defensive tackle. And watch that left hand just bop. So if, that guy, if he can bring his hands to the party in the run game more consistently inside, he's going to have, like, dominant reps. And he did. You know, I've watched some broadcast version of him at guard in 2021. I would love to put it on this, but I, I don't have the availability of it yet. But, pap! Get to the linebacker. Keep your feet wide. Keep the feet moving. And finish the play. Finish the play. So, again, you can see why I'm excited about this player. I think he's a really exciting player in the pass game and the run game. I think he's the best interior offensive line in this game. He's been battle tested. He's worked at tackle, and I think that does, like Elijah Vera Tucker, it helps you in some other ways in the pass game when things don't go perfectly, when you do have to maybe wash a guy around and keep your feet moving. So I'm really excited about this player. Like he's my, he's one of those players on the list. Like, no, I, I want to see where this guy ends up. I think he's going to be a lot better than Tyler Linderbaum. I really do. And it's not a shot at him. Check out my breakdown of Linderbaum. It's it's glowing. Um, but Kenyon Green, man, I really love this guy out of Texas A&M. So like, subscribe. I need to start asking to do that stuff at the freaking beginning of the video. But we got ads in them now, so I hate ad asking for all this stuff. So I appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.